All right, I'm here in Ilawe Kiti. Of course, right here um, with the traditional ruler, of course, the king here, Alawe of Ilawe. He was the uh, immediate past chairman of the traditional council in Ekiti State, and he has just cast his ballot. Alawe of Ilawe, it's nice to have you here. What uh, has been your um, experience with the voting, the primordial system in the by Heineck, and how have you seen the process? How, 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 was, how seamless was the process? Well, it has been quite seamless, and uh, we have to appreciate uh, the government. We have to appreciate Heineck for a job well done. Uh, you can see the exercise is going on smoothly. Uh, our people are very compliant with the rules and regulations guiding the election, and uh, they've been able to give peace a chance. Everybody is uh, exercising his or her. Uh, rights, franchise, without any inhibition, without any encumbrances, and uh, it's been going on smoothly. And I'm highly delighted that we are having a very smooth exercise in Ilawe Kiti, devoid of any form of rancor, crisis, and uh, any form of problem. All right. Um, something I observed here is, and observing so many poly units, is the fact that uh, the older people are much more. Um, vote the, the voting public seems the younger people uh, it, it, it seems the younger people are just on the social media what is your what's your take on this well I think you are very correct our youth they they spend a lot of time on the social media unfortunately the votes will not uh, will not be undertaken on the social media you have to practicalize it by being on ground and casting your ballot and if you fail to cast your ballot uh, you have no reason to uh, protest or condemn uh, whosoever is elected as uh, uh, the governor or whosoever is put into government. I hold my vote so sacrosanct, and I don't joke with it. That is why I have exercised my franchise, and I feel happy that I've been able to do it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I'm sure your majesty of the bank here. Give me the other day. I put out the details. Allah will be Allah will All right. All right. It's, that's how far we've come in Allah will be And um, the KVC is here. The voting public are, are optimistic that their vote will count at the end of this exercise. Ayo Media, Jake, TVC News, Allah will be Allah
Ganze. We are at this polling unit in Ilawa where uh, voters are here and already voting. Um, of course, many people are out here in their large numbers in different polling units located here. Um, I have uh, with me uh, Makinde Arauye, who is a senior special assistant to the governor of Ikita State. How would you describe the exercise? Well, uh, my name is actually Makinde Arauye. I'm the special advisor on federal matters. Uh, to the government of jo Dr. John Kaude Faemi. The electoral process has actually been seamless. Um, as we can see, INEC has actually improved on the technology that has been deployed for this uh, 2022 uh, gubernatorial election in Ikita State. Uh, they've upgraded for the, from the old technology to the new beavers. And I think this is actually uh, an improvement from what, uh, what INEC has done in the past. Yeah. What do you say about this system? This I think there's actually room for improvement. Um, when a new technology is, is being deployed on such a large scale um, um, electoral process, you know, the, the, it's, it's, it's expected that there'll be glitches. So the, the beavers actually did not capture my tone print, but there's a uh, there's an alternative way, which is for them to take your picture and make sure that the person that's actually in the voters register actually is the person that's coming to vote. So I I applaud INEC for for you know for deploying that alternative technology to make sure that the votes are actually count. On the turnout of voters, the turnout of voters is actually impressive. Um, I think INEC has actually also done a very good job educating the people and the, 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 uh, uh, the government and the parties, I think they've all done a good job in indicating the people on the need uh, you know, for promoting good governance. And I think people are actually here right now to, to cast their vote and make sure that uh, the choice of who they want to lead equity is being uh, voted into office. Thank you very much. You. Right, we just spoke to Mark Ndiarawi and is expressing satisfaction with the process so far. We are hoping that um, voters will be able to cast their ballot and there will be a each free process at the end of the exercise. Ah, sorry.
Rachel, if I tell you, it's a monolo. Eh? Le mini bajo kosi. Ni so si awon omo ekeke wa ti won ti e kin jade wa dibo. Awon odo, won ki dibo fe pe won ko ma n soro ni. Won ma nkan ti won se ni. Won ma nkan ti won se ni, won se n soro leyin ti won dibo. O ni ero ile ise ati agere ni won ti ma n soro, ti ma sase in social media. Ile le kan ojo ijo ati ri won. Mm, ah. Le be so fun awon omo, awon odo yi pe ko ma dibo what can you say about uh, this voting? Okay, my name is uh, Augustine Roots Fatade. So the name of this street is uh, Ilajumo Street. Yeah. What's your experience on the voting place? Uh, it's very, very okay. In fact, I think I attended this type of thing like 15 or 20 years back. You understand? So, I never, I never had interest in voting again because of what I experienced the other time. So, but now, I could... Oh, we were on queue that very day, and suddenly some guys, including all these uh, security people, they came. They started hijacking uh, box, ballots, uh, this thing. They just flipped everything away. So 
I was discouraged. Even my house was not far from that place. I was so discouraged, I have to leave that place. I said I will not be coming to vote again, if that is what will be happen, happening in Nigeria. So that was why I closed my mind about voting. Anytime this type of uh, something comes up. Today, I just, you know, the... Uh, all the, the experience I mean, is uh, is from my village here, so I have to come down from Adekiti to come and vote for him. That is why okay. I'm what, here what, now. What did you see is the difference between the elderly and the younger people? There are more elderly people voting, and so many younger people are inside their houses. Just they are not the inside, though. They are not inside. If it is in this our area, if you look at or generally, 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 more elderly people are housed than the younger people. You agree with? Uh, it's true, but I don't know why. Everybody, everybody with individual differences. But the thing is, all these elderly people, they came out because one is one of their children, right? And that is what we are praying for. But you see the younger ones, you know they are diverted. There is diversion in every way. And the youth now, they, they find it difficult to get what they want. So they, are, they don't have trust in anybody. So some of them, even the civil servants, they are too. But we thank God, this election is very peaceful. And since they have been shouting already that they, should, they shouldn't be uh, fighting or this, uh, we thank God for everything. So thank you very much, sir. Yeah. All right, what's your name? My name is Olua Tomisi. What's your name? Ayodile Olua Tomisi. Came out to vote today. Yes. Most of the young people do not see a voting as important desire as they thought it was. Why do you consider this as important? It's very important because it's our right as a citizen of Nigeria, the right to vote and be voted for. All right. Um, what is your advice to young people who just go on social media and all they do is talk on social media and do not put their social media profiles? Most of our youth don't even see these things. So what is your advice for them? Oh, I advise them to go f to get their PVC for them to vote because it's their right to vote. And for them to vote for the right person to lead them for the next four years.